areas all over the coastline. Goodness gracious. Superstorm Sandy came ashore, leaving many homeless. While in Atlanta, all veterinarian doctor Michael Good could do was sit and watch. Well, you can almost imagine it had to been horrendous for a stray dog or cat. And thank God in the New York area, in the New Jersey area, there is a, 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 a tremendous sense of responsibility. And um, there is not a big stray dog population in that part of the world. Even the Bidaweed shelters serving the pet population of New York for the past 100 years could not escape the torments of Sandy. The flooding did occur in Manhattan and it flooded the lower levels, but they had no idea how intense it was going to be out in Long Island. There wasn't as much uh, flooding, but they were up high for that, but a lot of wind damage and they lost power. With the shelters operational again, and just in time for the holidays, New York will become home to 25 southern puppies. Because of an organization called the Underhound Railroad, soon the puppies will hit the open road heading for the Empire State. Instead of being euthanized here in Georgia, they're on a couch in Manhattan. Some of us foster some of these kids, well, four-legged children. I have now six of the puppies that are going on transport. Upon arrival, the furry kids will go through a 14-day evaluation and then be put up for adoption, like this guy, little friend. Sad to see them go, but we're very happy because it's an accomplishment to be able to get them ready and set and know that they're going somewhere where they're wanted. These animals that we had to pull from places, the bad places that they could have been killed, and now they get to live in New York City. I mean, I am so jealous. <laughs> this is the first post-Sandy trip, and the Underhound Railroad hopes to have many more. I'm meteorologist Reynolds Wolf.